Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for coming back. I'm gonna do my September and August favorites. I didn't do a favorites for August because I really have no reason why. I just I just didn't. But I'm just gonna show you guys a bunch of stuff that I've accumulated from August and September. First thing that I've loved and been loving is my Clean and Clear Deep Clean Deep Action Cream Cleanser. This is when my face is just oily as a mofo and I want to clean it out and um, like if I have zits and pimples and tiny little bumps everywhere I use this with my Clarisonic which is also a favorite of mine and um, I just use this all over my face and it clears up everything it makes my face feel so tingly and clean and I just I love it um, another face wash that I have been loving as well is my Boccia face wash and this is a detoxifying black cleanser the reason I got this because a long time ago, I think two or three summers ago, my, my sister actually gave me her Olay warming cleanser and um, that stuff was so good. It was like ridiculous how good it was. Um, and it was just a warming cleanser and I was just like, oh my goodness. And I don't think they make it anymore because I haven't seen it, but I've been dying and looking for a warming cleanser and this one is a warming cleanser and I'm like, oh my god. So I really like it and it's a detoxifying black cleanser. I got this after I got a mask of it. So this is a warming gel cleanser that deeply cleans and detoxifies dissolves pore clogging impurities, oil and makeup as it refines skin texture, brightens skin clarity and minimizes the look of pores instantly over time. Definitely, definitely has improved my skin. Um, I really, really like it. I feel like this in conjunction with the masks and stuff like that have definitely, definitely helped my face um, be better, be brighter, um, look a lot healthier, smoother, softer. I really, really, really love it. So I love the cleanser and then I do have the Illuminizing Black Mask which I do use occasionally. I have Instagram a few pictures using this as well as the Bosha White Bright Mask. I love this one even more than this one. I love this one as a lot just because I feel like it's a good clean out because it is a detoxifying, luminizing um, black mask. But this one, I feel as soon as I take it off, I feel like my skin is a lot brighter, um, my marks are fading, and I definitely would recommend, if you get anything out of this entire, entire favorites that I have, definitely try out this bright mask. I love it, so definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, another favorite of mine has been Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I didn't like this when I first got it because it was kind of tingly, and I felt like it was just kind of like blah and I don't know how I feel about it. I really like my Olay because it smells so great and it smells good and I feel like an adult because I'm using Olay. But I really, really do love this. Um, I feel like this definitely, definitely moisturizes. It does have salicylic acid inside so it definitely helps. Um, it moisturizes your face. My face feels a lot more, I feel, when I use this as well as it's soft. Um, it captures the moisture in your skin. And um, it's just a really great moisturizer, so I really do like this. Um, I don't think it would help with your oil control. I don't think that would be a good thing for this. But if you do, if you are dry, I would definitely recommend this. But oily, I don't think I would recommend it as much. So normal to dry skin, I would definitely recommend that for. Um, the next thing that I'm going to talk about is hair. And I've been loving my cheese silk infusion. I love this stuff. Absolutely love it. Um, so I've been using this a lot. As well as my new bedhead after party. This is what I use like when my hair is kind of curly. Um, after I curl it. After I style it. After everything. I just run this through just to kind of smooth out all the frizzies and everything like that. So I love this. Um, as well as I would use this before when my hair is damp. And then I'm like curling it or I'm straightening it. I really like it for that. I think it works well then and especially after I straighten I would use a little tiny bit of this and just at the ends and it just really really helps. Um, when my hair is curly and I've curled it I do use this after I do the entire blow drying process and I add a little bit of mousse afterwards. I don't know if it's new or not. It has a new look but I've never tried it before so I really like it and um, it's been working really well and I love glossy line. I love it so much. Um, I will go ahead and definitely link my foundation routine, my concealer routine, and my curly hair routine, and my straight routine. They're all going to be linked down below, so definitely go ahead and check that out. So on to, I want to do brushes next, because I love brushes. Um, uh, four brushes, five brushes in particular. One is very high-end, 
two are kind of high end and three are pretty low end. Um, so the high end one is the Sigma F82. I did get the um, Sigmax set. I will be doing a review on that, don't worry. Um, but this is the F82 and this is the like the rounded top one. I really like this for foundation and stuff like that. So I love, love, love this one. It blends like a beast. I love it. It's 12 bucks a brush, which I feel like is great and it's definitely worth it. Um, definitely pretty much the same thing as the, the lower end stuff. I feel if you would get the same kind of like blending face brushes. So I would definitely check that out. Um, but I really do like that. I mean, I'm not saying like get the higher end one just because it's like higher end. Um, I mean, I definitely totally believe in the fact that lower end brushes can be great and really, really useful. So, um, I don't know. Just keep in mind, whatever you want. I just picked up that one just because I really, really believe that it would work well and it does work well. Um, the next two, the middle two are Real Technique brushes. And I did get the powder brush. And this is by Samantha Chapman who is Pixie Woo on here, and um, I really, really, really love these brushes. Um, my pink blush matches the pink candle, I love it. Um, so this is the brush I use for like mineral powder or just to set my overall face, loose powder, um, setting powder, whatever powder, um, I love it. I love the fact that it stands up, it's great, it matches my room, I love it, it's just awesome. I definitely need to get more of these brushes. I love the blush brush just because it's like a little bunny tail. I love it. Um, it works perfectly on my um, my cheeks. So I absolutely love that. You just tap the top and you just blend in from the top you can do. Um, you could also use brush for powder as well, like face powder if you do want. Um, you could use it for under eye powder. Whatever it is you want really. Um, so I really, really like this brush. Um, the next brush that I love is my e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush, which I feel I did mention in my e.l.f. haul that this has a lot of different purposes. You can use this for bronzer. You can use this for highlight. You can use this for your under eye powder. Um, you could use this for contouring your sides of your nose or just contouring in general. Um, so I love this brush. This is the Mineral Powder Brush. I do love the e.l.f. blush brush as well. Not only for blush, which you can by all means use it for, but more so highlight. I love this for highlight and I do love this for like my Ben Nye Banana Powder if you want to um, set your under eye. So I would definitely recommend um, one of these brushes for that reason. So I love this. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. So now on to more uh, makeup. Um, I've been really, really trying out a lot of different foundations recently. Three of them that I'm completely um, obsessed with recently and um, the first one is my MAC Studio Tech and uh, this is just what it looks like. It's a cream color. This is in NC43. I love this stuff. I feel like it works well on your face. It gives you, um, it's not too drying. I really, really like it. Um, I also have been loving my Hello Flawless by Benefit and I think this is what I'm wearing today and it looks really, really good. It's really flawless. It's just a perfect foundation, I think. Um, very lightweight, very good coverage. Um, I use one pump, apply it, and then two pumps to kind of finish it off, and then I use a powder to set it. So I really like this. Um, it's very light. You don't even feel it on your face, honestly. Um, and this one is in Toasted Beige. That's the color I am. So that's just that. And then the last foundation is definitely the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. This is in St. Moritz, and I love this one so much. You don't even need a lot of this at all whatsoever and it co gives you great coverage it's a tinted moisturizer it works like a foundation it's very light very good coverage definitely 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 recommend this Laura Geller blush and brighten I know this has been kind of like sporadic throughout my favorites but I really love it for a great um, bronzy highlight so I love that the next thing that I've been loving is my meat matte which has just been pretty much a staple for like my everyday um, looks going to school or whatever like that. It's matte, it's not too dramatic, it's not too crazy, so I love that. Um, the next thing that I've been using to set my foundation with is um, the Sleek Weight Effect um, Setting Powder in number two. And I love this. It's kind of a little bit dark for me, but I feel like when you blend it out, it works well. Um, but that's kind of like my issue with uh, sleek stuff. It's made towards, directed towards women of color. So like darker women. Um, 
but I really, really do think uh, the swatches are kind of like off online, but I know I really, really, really do like it. Um, the next thing that I've been loving is my NARS Boy Play, and this is my first NARS product, and I really like it a lot. I feel like it's great. Um, it's so versatile. You can definitely mix and match the colors, and it's awesome sauce. Get it, get the NARS Pore Play, it's really good. Um, another NARS product, I've been kind of into NARS a lot recently. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I'm excited that I can actually afford it right now. But um, I got the NARS blush in Matahari, and I really, really like this blush a lot. That's what it looks like, it's so pretty, it's like just a gorgeous, gorgeous um, color, especially for like Indian girls or like brown girls. I feel like this would just complement your skin tone. Perfectly, especially with your like Indian outfits and stuff like that. It's a gorgeous color, so I love that. Um, so that is just Nars Matahari. Another blush that I've been loving is Coralisa. I've been really into blush recently. Um, this is in my other favorites, but I absolutely love it. It smells awesome. Like I don't even know, but it's just like a peachy um, blush. Really great for summer. Um, I might get the full one of this when that's finished, but I absolutely love it. I did get the. Uh, the Coralista little um, box palette. So I do have a lot of the Coralista um, blush. So I'm probably not going to get the big one anytime soon. But I really, really love this. Next thing that I've been loving. And I recently got this. I got it a couple of days ago actually. But I really, really love it. So what I'm wearing right now. The bronzer and the blush. And it is the e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer. In um, Turks and Caicos. Which is boom. My favorite. I love it. It's so... Gorgeous, so perfect for fall. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? It's perfect. Um, this is what they look like. They're so pretty together. So, so pretty. I absolutely love it. It's what I'm wearing right now. Um, I can't even get enough of these. Oh, I love this blush. So that's just what they look like. I'm oh, sorry, my face are like too far apart. But this is so, so cute. I love it. Um, so that's my next favorite. I absolutely love that. Um, next couple of things that I've been loving are bum, bada, bum, bum, bum. my extra intense L'Oreal liquid pencil eyeliner, and I love this. It comes with a smudging part at the end, and then the color. I don't like it because it wears down fast, and it's very, very smooth and soft. So it kind of like you have to sharpen it a lot. So that's the only thing. Um, but I love that. CC Lip Tars. Love it. I'm wearing one right now. Trick. Holy smokes. Holy freaking smokes. Love this stuff. I have a whole bunch of them. I love them. Um, you, I got some of them from Sephora for $16. But you can get it from Camera Ready Cosmetics for $15. So if you guys want to do that, um, definitely do that. Oh, you can save a dollar. But I love them. This is in Trick and this is in Hush. These are definitely my favorites um, just because they're more natural. They don't last as long. Um, they do stain your lips, which I like because that's what I want. I want them to last for a long time. However, um... The lighter colors um, do wear off a little bit. Um, the darker colors definitely stay on. But um, I wish the lighter colors would stay on a little bit longer. For foundation, for a primer, I've been using my Smashbox Photo Finish Luminizing. And I really, really like this. It gives you a really, really great um, bright effect to your face. So I love this. Um, I have been loving my Tarte Black M Emphasize. Emphasize, ah, I get it. Amazonian clay waterproof liner, and I love this. It is very waterproof, and I've been using this a lot. Um, this is just by Tarte. And I've also been loving my Balm Schwing eyeliner. Um, it's my liquid eyeliner that I'm wearing right now. Love it. It lasts forever and ever and ever. So I love it so much. So this is just that. Um, packaging so cute. My last favorite is the Scandalized by Rimmel. Um, love this mascara. It's what I'm wearing. Uh, all, half of these things are what I wear on a daily basis. So I really, really like them. Um, and yeah. So love it, love it, love I it. I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites. If you have your own favorites, definitely go ahead and link it down below um, as a video response. I'll definitely check it out and stuff like that. Um, if you guys 
uh, want to leave a comment or leave a request or leave whatever you want to see down below, go ahead and do so. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Um, stay tuned to the end for bloopers because I just banged the shit out of my head on my uh, table. So maybe you guys can see that if you do want. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please do rate, comment, subscribe. Definitely check out my Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram, my Reese Babe. And I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye, guys. <laughs> um, that I've been using a lot. I think one fell actually. Smashed my head to the side of my freaking. Oh, God help me. Oh, and it's right in the basket. Great. Honestly, this set is not as ex um, as expensive really as if you think about it, because you get five brushes for like sixty dollars, which is just like what? I don't even know. Five divided by sixty, whatever that is. I feel like an idiot. I don't know what that is. I do know what that is. I just forget. And, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, where'd he go? <laughs> um, next thing, the next two things, three things, four things. Everything women do them follow.